Well, kombucha is a popular fermented tea drink, and some believe that it can have some positive health effects as well. Now, while it can be purchased at the store, it can be fairly easy to make at home as well. Mel Meyer has that in this week's In Focus. It's something we do every week, every Monday usually is our kombucha making day. At Harmony Co-op, Angela Struntz and her partner Joseph Riley are cooking up some kombucha. She was excited to pass on her recipe, which was passed on to her through a friend. She taught me in her kitchen and my mom and I just started brewing there in our own kitchen. Kombucha starts off with a mix of black and green tea, sugar, and a scooby, which is an acronym for a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, which makes it ferment. She says there's a strong interest in learning how to make kombucha instead of purchasing it. The workers knew that I brew at home, so um, a lot of community members have been curious on how we make our own small batch kombucha. Karen Mayberry said she had recently taken this up as a hobby and wanted to learn more about the process. A friend of mine showed me how to make kombucha a few months ago, but I was really interested in learning how to do the second ferment. What makes Struntz's process unique is the quality of the ingredients, such as local apples and ginger, but also the fermentation tools. We ferment in swing top bottles, um, which gives it a really strong fizz, almost like a GT's kombucha will give, um, and it also gives a really bright, fruity flavor. It's another thing that makes it a little unique. Lisa Knight says that the co-op provides a wide variety of classes. She hopes these classes give people a sense of confidence in their cooking skills. Sometimes you think, oh my gosh, that's going to be such a gourmet food, but then you look at it and it's just a recipe that you can follow the instructions and you can make it at home too. While the step-by-step -step instruction will help, instructor Joseph Riley says the best way to learn through practice. I really hope that everyone just feels comfortable experimenting in their kitchen and trying their own recipe out. While some of the classes require a small fee, all classes are open to co-op members and non-members. In Bemidji, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.